This is an interactive map built by KGW of the now 60 workplace outbreaks in Oregon. The state says five cases or more of COVID-19 constitutes an outbreak. Most of these have far more than that. The counties in darkest blue are sites of the largest workplace outbreaks. You can see Marion County is the darkest. It's home to the Oregon State Penitentiary, which has 184 cases. The second and third largest outbreaks are respectively at the Pacific Seafood Plant in Newport. The OHA says it has 181 cases and the Lamb Weston plant in Hermiston. It's a potato processing facility home to 142 cases. The OHA also reporting eight deaths have been associated with workplace outbreaks in Oregon. Officials won't say where those eight people worked. In its report, the OHA wrote the outbreaks highlight the challenges of controlling COVID-19 in settings where people must work or live in proximity, adding people of color are overrepresented in agricultural and correctional settings, contributing to the higher rates of COVID-19 observed in these groups. Essential workers, the same workers everyone likes to call heroes, they should be treated like heroes. And Graham yes. Trainer is really the president of the Oregon AFL-CIO, the State Federation of Labor Unions. They represent roughly 300,000 Oregon workers. Last month, he wrote a guest opinion in the Statesman Journal calling on politicians and business leaders to do a better job of protecting essential workers. Here's one example. Uh, workers also need access to paid and protected leave for all workers. When our state passed our paid sick leave law, uh, which was five days of required paid sick leave for most workers in the state, we never contemplated a 14-day quarantine period. Late today, the director of the Oregon Health Authority said the agency is working closely with OSHA to educate workplaces. We adopted um, uh, farm worker safety standards uh, uh, two or three months ago that uh, increased levels of protection Reps at Lamb Weston and Pacific Seafood tell KGW they're doing a lot to keep workers safe, following CDC guidelines on social distancing, masks, and screenings. A rep for Pacific Seafood also contends that the state's report makes the situation seem worse than it is. For instance, he pointed out Pacific Seafood's last case was documented on June 30th. The OHA report confirms that. The vast majority of those sickened, that spokesman said, have recovered. As for the largest outbreak at the Oregon State Penitentiary, no one from the Department of Corrections was available for an interview. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.